hi welcome back to another video uh we're gonna do a gel polish set today so i've got my flexi hand out and i've put some tips in just the four fingers uh they're full cover tips so they quite easily slide straight into that uh, cuticle um, i have already put some base coat on so i prepared them ready we're going to go in with uh, three colours. So I'm going to do Imelie's White, which is 011. And that's going to go on the pointer and the ring finger. And next up, I'm going to use another one of Imelie's, and it is black, which is going to go on that middle finger. So that number is 007. Just do a little bit of a clean up up the side of there. And then last of all, for the pinky, I'm going to use uh, number two, which is a yellow colour from a company called Acre. You can find them on uh, Amazon. They're very reasonably priced uh, gel polishes. It's spelt A-I-K-K-E-R, just in case you want to go and have a look. Right, I've also pulled this one out, which I got from AliExpress, and... This came as a set of three. It came with a nude and um, another collar, which I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but it also came with this one, which is like a, a clear top coat with um, those little black bits in it. Basically, it's to make it look like mini eggs, as I always think. Um, that is SKVP. And the number is K19. So that goes on. It does leave a tacky layer. So once that's gone in the lamp, I'm going to bring it back out. And then I'm going to put some top coat over it. Now, once this top coat is cured, I'm going to give it a buff. Because I'm going to be doing some painting on it. So I want a nice smooth surface. And some of those black bits are quite... Um, they're a little bit rough, shall we just say. So, I'm going to put some matte top coat on the black one and the yellow one because I don't want anything sticking to them when I file. So, that's why I've matte top coated those ready. I'm going to give this a quick buff and the other one as well. keep checking because I know that part was a little bit lumpy where it got quite a few spots so we're going to go over with some matte top coat now just get that surface nice and smooth and I'm going to use some of Imelie's black so that number is 007 again now I did get this striping brush out. I've not used it before. I won't, I'm not 100% happy with it to tell you the truth. Um, I still think it's really too thick. I think I'm going to have a bash at cutting it down. But I didn't want to do it there and then in case I made a complete mess of it. So this one I'm going to do a straight line, so I'll say a straight line, as straight as I can get it. Try and tidy it up a little bit. Uh, 
I'm just going to let you watch the rest of this because I do um, just a pattern on this one and then I'm going to do a pattern on the other white finger as well. And both of those have been cured now. I'm going to go in with some matte top coat again over the top of that just to seal that black in. And then we're going to do a little bit of stamping. So I have pulled out a plate from Moyu. It's called Mother Nature Number no. 9. And I've also pulled out a Born Pretty Colour, which is number 9. Um, I was trying to get it the same colour yellow as that pinky finger. I'm not going to do much stamping on them. It's just something small on each of those um, white fingers. I keep saying white fingers, white nails. I'm just going to take one of those little pieces of corn from the bottom um, at some point this week uh, I'm going to put this out Monday but at some point this week I'm going to do like a, a stamping video uh, go a little bit more sort of in depth um, just to help a few people out what I've asked for one um, I'm no expert but if I can help at all I will so I'll just be going through what you need for stamping and a little bit of how to. We're just going to do the same again on the other finger. I didn't know which one to use off here because there's so many bits of corn along that bottom. And they all look different. And then I thought to myself, should I have painted it instead? but never mind stamping was quicker right um we're gonna leave those two to dry now and on the pinky i've done it off camera to speed it up a little bit but basically i've just put another coat of matte top coat on uh, just to set some gems in it and uh, i'll put a couple of caviar beads on as well um 
if I was doing this on somebody's hand, I would actually set them with some gem glue um, instead of sitting them in matte top coat. The only reason why I've sat them in that is because I can get them off easier at the end once I've photographed, because as you know, I don't waste them, I reuse them. So sitting them in matte top coat was the quickest and the easiest. Um, yeah, so after that's done, then I will take some photos and show you what they look like. Uh, thank you for watching. If you've persevered through right to the end, um, please do remember to give me a thumbs up if possible. And look at that pesky little bead. They never go where you want them to go. <laughs> they keep running off. I think I grabbed my little lamp. Yeah, I did thought I did <laughs> like quick set it in place um yeah <laughs> after I've used that lamp I actually do put them in the proper lamp and set them properly so uh, and I'm gonna matte top coat those two that we stamped on as well now seal that in yeah as where was I uh, thank you for watching please do give me a thumbs up if possible and if you've not already subscribed please do consider subscribing and tick the notification bell and if you want to sub for sub just leave me a comment make sure you write sub for sub then i know i've got to go onto yours to uh subscribe to you i do try and do that anyway but and i do try and answer my comments um it may take me a few days but i definitely do I try to do things in blocks so I catch up with comments all at once and then I will catch up with, you know, my editing all at once, etc. So, just so I have a plan. Right, I'm going to leave you in peace anyway, guys. I hope you like the set and I will see you next time. Bye.